The renovations of Waynesboro High School are underway at a cost of an estimated $20 million. That's according to Brian Stam, the school's principal. He shared with me his thoughts about the improvements. I think progress. I think uh, I'd like to think of a sense of pride for our community. I really like to see the difference our students have or the change in mindset our students have about our building. For so long, it's always been Waynesboro's run down, Waynesboro's falling apart. And as we open up a lot of these new areas, especially, like, for example, we just opened up our locker rooms for our students. And our students are going in and going, oh, my gosh, these are great. These are wonderful. And we, I'll enjoy seeing those reactions because it makes it worth it. This is Stam's first year serving as principal. He has served as assistant principal at the school for four years. He says one of the renovated spaces was done to ensure students remain safe while at the school. This was one of the first areas that was completed as part of our renovation. And it was one of the most important ones for us because this is actually the original entryway to this uh, building from when it originally opened. But at the same time, it also is affording us a lot more security as when people come in, they have to come, they come to a vestibule, but they can't enter the building until they've either signed in or been vetted by our front office staff, which allows our students to um, should feel more secure, allows our parents to feel more secure, allows our community to be more secure. Uh, allows us to monitor what's going on on in and inside in and outside of the building at the same time. Stam says, as a result of the renovations, a traditional change is occurring. A lot of the lockers actually are coming out. What we found with students in years past is students don't use their lockers as much as they used to. Um, so with that, we have we have just about 900 lockers in the school. We're going to remove about 750 of them, leaving about 150 sporadically throughout the school. But there are some positive transformations stemming from the renovations. So part of our renovation is we had about we added about 56 of these activity lockers, which are much different than our typical lockers that we have. Um, as we'll look at here shortly, they're the typical lockers you had in high school. We all know what they were. They're like four or five feet tall, real skinny. You get all your stuff in there. These were added in because in the past, a lot of our students that had activities, whether it's sports, they were in the drama productions, what have you, we had to kind of pile their stuff in the office. Well, this allows them to have a secure place where they can have a lock that's provided by the school. They can keep their items during the day, during their season. And if they don't have another season coming, then they turn it back in and then we offer to another student that may have a need for that. The principal says they have 56 activity lockers and 150 regular lockers. According to Principal Stam, the Waynesboro High School student body consists of nearly 900 pupils. Stam admitted there is a shortage of lockers for the youngsters. Not for every student right now, but based on the need and on what the what the requests have been, we have more than enough based on what the students have requested in the past. And what we found over years past is that students, even though we assigned them coming in, students didn't use them. Um, about two years ago, we stopped assigning lockers to incoming freshmen. Very seldom do we have a student come and request it. Now, we make sure there's availability for them if they would like one. And those are those 150 we're going to keep are uh, existing lockers. We did add about 56 what we call activity lockers here on the first floor, which are much larger. They accommodate our, our athletes, students that may have to bring clothes for them to go to work. It's open to any student. Principal Stam says students are not paying any money to use the lockers. They are not. Uh, we, we provide them, we rent, I don't say rent, but we provide them with a lock. The only way it has any cost to them is if the, the lock goes missing, but they're all free of charge. He says during the renovation, they have discovered unique school memorabilia. As they're pulling out a lot of these locks, it's actually interesting what you find behind them. Uh, we go and collect stuff. I've Recently, I've been looking through some of the lockers they've been pulling out and we're finding sports schedules from the 80s, pictures from the 60s, and a lot of really neat historical things that we're trying to hold on to. So these are the lockers that have been removed from the, from the existing building, ones that um, will be moved away. The areas where they've been pulled out will be turned into collaborative areas, areas where students can, uh, there's going to be seating in the hallways, which we don't have now, areas where students can do pull out from a classroom and they can work together. So it's actually, a, it, we're not just pulling them out, but we're replacing the areas that they were with very, uh, areas that are going to be very productive for the students, for student life at the high school, but also for the classrooms. Stam says there is so much more to the multi-million dollar renovations. For example, the two gyms we had, one we've torn down and we're going to actually rebuild as a multi-purpose room. That'll have air conditioning and then our uh, competition gym that we use for physical education and 
practices, things like that, has never had air conditioning, and now we do. The school is adding more space for students to learn. The area where we're standing actually is going to become about four different classrooms for general for general use. It's also an area for our special education department, where right now they're separated in different areas all throughout the building and really in spaces that aren't too conducive to what they need to do. So this is going to afford them an area where they're going to have common office spaces, they'll have accessibility to, the, to a conference room for uh, meeting with parents, and also uh, areas where they can work with their students in academic labs, and also storage where we can keep a lot of our, uh, a lot of our materials, whether that's for OT, PT, or even sensory type, uh, sensory type items. Waynesboro High School has endured the test of time. There are students attending the same school as their parents, and for some, their grandparents. I gave a tour of a graduating class from about 30, 35 years ago, a couple weeks ago. They were doing a reunion, they wanted to see a school, I gave them a tour, and it was neat to see the reactions they had when they said, hey, I used to be in this classroom, or even some of the areas on the first floor where we've renovated so far, they would say, oh, this is where this used to be, but now it's an office. Or this used to be, for example, where we're sitting right now used to be the cafeteria. Um, until back in 2001, we had a renovation and created a new cafeteria. So it's neat to see the changes and people's perceptions of it. And everything's been positive. Even these groups that have come back to visit have been very, very positive about what we have done with the school. In Waynesboro, Elaine Rackley for Breaking Through News.